Hello, today I'm going to talk about black seeds. Black seeds are also known as kolonji and people also call black caraway uh, or neglia stevia. Uh, there are different names and there's another name habartul sawada. There's a different names in different region. In Southeast Asia, it's kolonji. In Middle East, it's a different name. Uh, it's like habatul sawada. And then there is black caraway. So there are different names. They are like small seeds. They are black color, little tingent uh, taste. Um, and they are, they are there for years and years. It's mostly in indigenous of the Mediterranean, Mediterranean region. Mostly it's like a Middle East and they, that's how they did like kind of a lot of research on that. Um, they, they, in Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said that black seed is actually cure for a lot of diseases except death. So this is one of his saying. So because it has so much healing power in these little seeds that if we really take it in appropriate amount, we can actually really help our body. Um, so I'll talk f only few of the benefits today because otherwise this will be a long video. So one of the major, major um, uh, benefit of black seed is it actually builds the immunity. Once it builds the immunity, it's actually really can fight lot of problems. So our body is stronger to do lot of stuff, uh, fight, fight the bacteria, the viruses and other thing. But another thing which is, uh, is less known to people, but black seed can do actually protect our kidneys. Um, it really prevent the kidney diseases. The way it uh, works on our bodies, it flushes all the toxins out from our system and our kidneys are better, they are filtered better and there is less stones, there is less diseases. Um, another thing it does is it helps our, um, helps people, especially you know the people who are having prostate problem, it actually will help them uh, to prevent from cancers and having a good prostate health because if prostate having problem in large prostate, it can lead to lot of other problems to men. So men should really, if they want their prostate to be healthy, they should start taking uh, black seeds. Then what it does is if we, especially these uh, kidney and prostate disease for that, we have to 25 gram of black seeds should be grounded and it should be put in, in one teaspoon of honey then the effect is really good. Uh, we have to take certain things in a certain way to get the maximum benefit. Um, next thing is it helps in menstruation. For the girls, young girls, ladies, uh, sometimes the menstruation is very painful. So every month they go through this difficult time. Uh, sometimes their flow is, uh, blood flow is like huge or it's like really a five to ten days of the month is very, very difficult. So to make your menstruation uh, in, a, in a really, that time should be peaceful for you, I would advise to start taking the black seeds. Um, that's really going to help you. The next is uh, lactating mothers. Um, Sometimes they want to um, uh, feed their uh, children, kids, uh, but the milk flow is not that great. So the black seeds help good milk flow because if we babies are having mother milk, their immunity is the best, they don't get sick. So uh, mother's milk is the best milk. So for lactating mothers, if they're having problem, the flow in the milk, they should actually have 25 gram of black seeds on a daily basis. It will really be helpful for you guys, okay. Uh, there's another very important benefit of uh, black seeds are uh, that it is helpful to fight the uh, worms, the tapeworms and roundworms. Uh, these are very common in developing countries. So children are really suffering with these infections. So uh, that's like really, really 
um, uh, very, very, very sad disease because it actually uh, hinders the growth of children. Uh, so what it does is if we actually take some black seeds uh, and we heat with the vinegar and we make a paste and we put it on the belly, on the stomach of the children. So the warmth and the effect of the black seed and the vinegar actually it will kind of a, with the through the absorption through the skin it actually can you can get rid of these worms. Uh, let's try that if anybody is suffering with this problem. So that's very very it's eliminate actually warm so we can try that. Uh, other thing which is very common to people maybe worms are not that common here uh, but a very common problem here we in, especially in fall we get a lot of cold. Um, people get flu and even COVID. Uh, all these flu symptoms, all these virus, viruses, all the viral infection, black seeds can be the best remedy, home remedy because this is what I try. Uh, I, I'll start getting the symptoms and I'll, what I will do is I'll take a hot water, I'll take a pinch of black seeds and I'll put a little honey in it. If you want a little bit elaborate, you can put a little bit of cinnamon, on, cinnamon in the water and drink two or three times a, a day. Trust me, you will not get full blown infection. Uh, you will just, it will fight your infection, your viruses and then you can really recover better because it helps in your immunity. It actually will fight with all these viruses. So this is, this is one of the most important thing is um, that you have to take in appropriate form, appropriate amount. Um, I met somebody the other day and they, they were so impressed with the black seed, they were taking so much black seed. So that's not good, that can harm you. So what happened is 25 gram per day is enough or a little bit over, a little bit of that, but not more than that because too much of everything can be dangerous. So we need to take this in moderation. So this is the dose of the black seeds. These are available in all local uh, stores where, you know, uh, Southeast Asian stores, you can find these black seeds. You know, it's not, it's not hard to find these days. Uh, so please try this and it will be really very helpful for you. Thank you for watching.